I just got green paint all over my dick. I like dicks. <laughs> I just put all those lamps into Herblore and I need farming for this. Haha, <laughs> hey, what is up, guys? We are back on Kit Comp once again. Oh, we got three Super Squeal of Fortune spins for logging in three days in a row. So, guys, be sure to log in, you know, every single day in a row and you will get uh, the Super Squeal of Fortune spins, which is like 10 times better than the regular Squeal of Fortune. So you have like chances of getting the Hope Spirit Shield, for example, which is worth like 2 billion coins. Small Experience Lamp Hunter, Small Experience Lamp Magic, Room Pickaxe. Alright guys, so look at my bank right now, it's actually kind of unorganized, so I'm gonna go ahead and sort my bank using the sort bank command. And there we go guys, I actually sorted my bank, so all the random miscellaneous stuff is in the main tab. And it looks like it put the lamps in there, so it doesn't know where to put those. And then it also put uh, currencies right here, which is good, it got some food and potions. Got some skilling supplies here, and then it's got my melee tab right here, I think. Well, that looks like a glitch, guys. I actually have a tab right here, and there's nothing in it. So, uh, I don't know. It just shows a plus right there, and I, I don't know what items go in there right now, guys. Some sort of armor, I think maybe capes. We're going to buy ourselves a bronze pickaxe. No, iron pickaxe, guys, because that one is also level one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get our mining up, which should be pretty fast, guys. All right, we have got ourselves some tin and some copper. We're going to go make some bronze armor real quick. All right, we have made some daggers and some bolts, and we are now at 45 smithing, which I think could put us at a level where we can make something better than bronze items. Oh, there we go, guys. Now we can use the dragon pickaxe, which is insanely fast. And we're going to try and get some iron ore because... I actually forgot guys how to make steel for a second and turns out you need iron ore and coal so I'm over here trying to use the anvil even though I can't use the anvil right now guys I need to make some bars we're going straight for the plate legs guys let's see if we can make some plate legs oh nice and let's see if we can make some plate bodies as well and it is that easy guys I'm just gonna make a bunch of swords now for no reason we got our first very skilling rock guys in the game and at a level of like 70 smithing as well so about time we got a skilling rock we got 80 mining from doing all that mining guys but only 68 smithing that's kind of lame but now we're going to train actually thieving real quick we're going to try and get our levels up to like maybe around 80 and then we'll we'll train them up to the 99 and later at some point but i'm not going to grind on one skill all at once i'm just going to kind of switch from skill to skill if you guys know what i mean you know while we're thieving guys i actually have a story about thieving there are actual pickpocketers in places like new york city and stuff like that and apparently I went to the Mall of America and they sold a pair of pants that had like this rubber piece inside the pocket. And what the rubber piece is supposed to do is supposed to like allow you to know if someone's pickpocketing you. So apparently they'll like slip in and then because the rubber is like, I don't know, it's not easy to like slide your hand out. So they'll actually hit the rubber and then, you know, it should uh, alert you that someone's trying to pickpocket you. So. My friend told me you're supposed to put your wallet in those pockets, and I think that's pretty cool. It is Ronald McDonald, guys, the friendly neighborhood serial killer. And just like that, guys, 61 thieving. So I don't know what thieving level is required for that uh, that miner guy or whatever, but he, he gives some good money, guys. He gives some, like, ores, and he gives some stuff like that. I think he's, like, 85, uh, 85 thieving, but it's a lot bigger chance to get caught by him, so we might just stay at this man for a while. I don't I actually know a better way to get thieving experience really like maybe I could go to a stall or something maybe that's a little better experience but at the moment this one's pretty afk guys all right I just got bored guys so I'm actually gonna buy some wood cutting stuff got myself some hatchets here and we're gonna go chop some trees over here and luckily for us there's actually every single tree on the skilling island so like I'm gonna chop this tree uh not this tree this is an oak tree all right, so we're gonna chop some dead trees real quick, and then we're gonna chop the oak trees afterwards, probably. I only cut one log, guys. My wood cutting level is literally 32. Guys, I'm cursed, look at this, look at this. I'm cursed. Damn, wood cutting is so much faster than mining, and it is way faster than, like, uh, thieving. What is going on with, like, when you're chopping trees, apparently you always face north? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I think there's still fire over here, guys. So, actually, there's a fire right there. So, we can actually go ahead and use this fire real quick. Our fire making is actually, like, a bigger level than the wood cutting, which is kind of weird. Because our smithing is way lower than our mining level. 69 fire making, guys. And there's our second skilling rock, guys. One skilling rock for fire making. And just like that, guys, 75 wood cutting. So, we can actually chop the magic logs if we wanted to. But I don't really want to chop, chop those right now. And there we go, guys. We actually got four donator dollars for completing just one hangman win. So I think hangmen are actually required for the completion escape. 
I just don't know how many are required. So let me see if I can look up the requirements while we're doing this, uh, this fire making. All right, guys, we got 80 fire making as well as 80 wood cutting. So basically we're done wood cutting and fire making. And also uh, we got quite a few skills up to like 60 plus. So that's pretty good. Now, I don't know what we're gonna do now. Maybe train another skill. I do not have any seeds guys. So we're actually gonna steal some seeds here from the master farmer. And what I'm looking for here is some Guam seeds. I think that would be pretty good. And then we're gonna try and, you know, make some grimy Guams. Oh damn, we just got the thieving level for quadruple loot from this master farmer. Like imagine, imagine in real life, what it would look like for you to quadruple loot someone like all four of their pockets, two back pockets, two front pockets. All right, guys, I've got to admit something. We got to cheat on herb lore a little bit because I don't think I'm ever going to get the Guam seed. Or the, yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to get the Guam seed. So we're just going to use this on herb lore a few times until I can find some seeds that actually like I can use. And just like that, guys, we are at 80 herb lore just from using this lamp. So that's a little bit cheating kind of, but you know what, guys, we have the lamps there for the hardest skills. And I feel like herb lore is one of my harder skills. We did get some Renar seeds though, guys. So hopefully I can actually plant Renars with only 80 of this uh, this uh, herb lore here. The weeds grow so fast when you're doing this. So like, this is like kind of annoying when they just grow. Patch is cleared and ready for planting. Okay, so add the Renar seeds. I need a farming level of 32. I just put all those lamps into herb lore and I need farming for this. All right, well, I guess I don't like herb lore that much anyways either, guys. That's like mixing potions and stuff. So we're going for farming guys. Apparently you'll only need a level of 32 farming to plant, plant Renard. Like Renard was one of the most expensive seeds of like all time. And isn't it used for like a really good potion as well, like the ranging potion? And there we go guys, we actually have planted two different Renard plants. And I think there are a total of four different herb patches here. So yeah, I could be planting herb patches left and right. Let's actually check my bank real quick and see, are any of these seeds actually for the, the herb patches here? Well, we got some Aventos, so we'll plant some of those as well. Oh, we've got Torstal seeds, guys. Are Torstals like a really high level? Can I plant those? 85 farming for this Torstals. Oh, that's BS. Is there an easy way to get rid of this, this weeds here? Or do I have to drop them or something? Does anyone know if the compost bin works on this game? All right, guys, be sure to use the super compost on your herbs because actually your herbs have a pretty good chance of dying if you guys don't use super compost and watering. Like someone was trying to say that uh, they didn't think super compost did much, but actually it helps your plants out quite a bit. Like, I think that there's a pretty good chance of them dying. Like, um, what is the chance? Like five to 10% chance of them dying uh, if you don't water them and don't put super compost. But if you guys use both super compost and water, their chance of dying, I think is like only 2%. And, uh, or, or being poisoned, I mean, they can get poisoned and then you can actually use the plant cure if you're, if you get there in time, but, all right, so I need to fill my watering can. Luckily for us, there's a sink right here that is going straight through the fence. Apparently you can't water any of the herb patches. So uh, that's kind of interesting. Maybe that's only for like the tree patches. Oh my God, we are harvesting our first herbs, guys. Grimy Renars. And now that we have some herb ore levels, we can actually clean all those at once. And I forgot about that, guys. If you just click one, it'll actually clean all of them at once. That's actually pretty lit. And just like that, guys, we are at 66 farming, which is pretty good. All right, guys, well, it's been about 30 minutes, so we are pretty much done on our account for today. We are up to 110 minutes at 7 bill net worth, and we got actually something good on the completion escape thing, which is we got some skills up. And why am I account freaking out right now? I'm trying to take a look at like our requirements that we're doing. We did the Squeal of Fortune like six times, I think. So that's pretty good, guys. Uh, I think if we log in consecutively, we'll actually keep getting more and more spins. So we're at 14 out of 125 for that right now. And then also uh, we haven't really done anything else, but we are getting our skills up, which I'm pretty sure getting Master Cape or getting, what is it, the the Master? I'm pretty sure Master Cape is actually required for completionist. Anyways, peace out guys. Take a look at my mustache once again. If you guys have not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel because we are almost at 300 subscribers. And uh, yeah, like and comment on my video and peace out.